Twitter stuff. And should be good. Stuff. Make sure that's got audio. Cool. Hello everyone, this is Chris Ingerson, and it is November 9th, and this is the November 9th Text West Dev Stream. So today um, we are going to be doing some audio stuff. In particular, we are going to be messing with um, music and the music manager. And uh, currently, oh, that's interesting. Um, currently, the music manager class is functional. It does what it. I, no, I don't really want to say it does what it needs to do. It does what it does, um, which is it handles crossfading music. Um, and then it came back, but I'm guessing that that means that my avatar is broken. So give me a second. I'm going to stop talking for two seconds. Yep. Okay. Broke. Yay! I have to launch that again. No idea why that happens, but it always happens. It, well, it seems to always happen at least once per stream. All right, but fortunately it only ever happens once. So, uh, as I was saying, um, the, way the, the, the way the current music manager works is I have, a, I have three audio sources that I crossfade between, kind of. Um, and the idea there was if I ever needed to crossfade, that obviously, you know, a, a crossfade requires at least two... Um, two audio sources. Um, and then from there, it kind of spiraled out into having a third one, just in case I have to crossfade across several pieces of music at once. Um, that hasn't really come up yet. It It's kind of something that I'm thinking about, um, and I'm trying to figure out the structure for it currently. Um, but really, the way that I, I approached it in the past is it, it's okay, but um, again, when I wrote this, it was very early on in the development of TextQuest. Um, and it was really before I had any any real good idea of um, how to approach these things. So I'm going to kind of restart from the ground up. Um, so we're going to make a new, ma a new music manager. Um, and the new one is basically going to be a lot more modular in its approach. It's going to allow for an arbitrary number of musical pieces being played at once. Um, because something that I am particularly interested in is... Um, Oh, there's a term for it, um, and it's escaping me at the moment. Um, but it's basically sort of like, uh, I was going to say spatialized audio, but that is not correct. Um, it's, it's kind of like, uh, dang, it's going to say cross-platform. That also does not make sense. Uh, I guess I can't think of a good word for it. But basically, it's, it's situations like um, Nintendo has done this for a long time, basically cross-fading between two musical tracks that are all basically playing simultaneously, um, you'll just get bits and pieces of the track depending on where you are. So if you stand next to fire, you might get like a sitar instrument. Um, although actually that's a different thing um, that I'm going to talk about in a second. Um, think, of, think of it, the, the most basic example is uh, you have an overworld theme and then when you go underwater, it's kind of the same theme, but there's definitely a little bit more of a, it makes it sound like you're underwater. Um, and that's not just an audio effect. I mean, usually there's different instrumentation, so you'll get um, you'll get sort of softer, more more <laughs> watery sounds, for lack of a better word. Um, and that would be a cat meowing, which is usually not what you want to have in your score. Um, but that's one thing that I want to prepare for. The other thing that I want to um, allow to be possible is, um, is musical stacking, I guess, for lack of a better term. Um, except... I know that there is a better term, but I can't think of it again. Um, and this is essentially when you have a single um, a single piece of music that you're playing, except you're adding instrumentation as you go along. Um, now, this can be done with the example that I gave earlier, where if you're standing next to a fire, you might get a sitar. If you go next to um, you know a, a lake, you might get like a harp or something. Um, and these are just things that are adding to the bass line musical melody that you have. Um, so I'd like to be able to, to support that sort of thing as well. Um, because it's, it's something that I've been interested in for a long time. In fact, ever since I've been working on games, that's kind of been a thing that I've been doing in my music. Um, or at the very least I've planned for it, um, on certain games that didn't quite make it past a very rough initial stage. Uh, 
So I would like to have support for that as well. Um, and all of this is going to be, of course, piped in through um, Unity's audio mixing system. Um, and that's all stuff that we're going to mess with. So we're going to go ahead and I guess we'll we'll start with a... I want to make it a um, empty scene. Yeah, we'll, we'll make it an empty scene. I'm going to make a new scene. Um, and I kind of want to know... I'm debating if I should do a first person thing so that I can try to crossfade a little bit more seamlessly. But eh, for now, we'll just do a menu based crossfade. Um, so let's go ahead and create a canvas. All right. Let's make a UI image background. Love that stretch. Have that be mostly solid black with a little bit of opacity. Well, transparency, I suppose root cat i see you I tell you cats really get super needy when you're streaming all right uh so let's go ahead and just design a, a rough ui real quick um so i'm gonna have three songs i think that will crossfade between let's go ahead and create a button hello scorpio welcome back how have you been and we'll just go ahead and call this like music one button. Um, call this music one. All right. And let's go ahead and just duplicate this twice. Change this to music two button. Wow, except I didn't type two. Uh, get rid of this end. Call that three. All right, uh, let's go ahead and position this real quick. So we'll say a position of 100. Oh, no, that's not enough. 300? Yeah, that's good. Negative 200? Yeah, 200. Why not? All right, uh, let's go ahead and change their labels real quick. So music one becomes music. Ah, oh, freaking hell. Music two. And then music three. All right, so those are our three buttons, and we'll use those to crossfade. Um, so let's go ahead and go to my test folder. Yeah, so we'll create a new music test folder. Create some scripts. So this will be our music test. Decent. Band is finally over. I guess it is getting a little cold to march. <laughs> uh, that would kind of make it hard. To, well, then again. Usually when you're wearing all those uniforms, well, no, that was kind of specific to my school. I guess with your with your particular getup, I don't know if that's particularly well insulated. Um, either way, good to have you back. Hopefully band was pretty fun while it was going on. All right, so let's see. Let's close some of the scripts that we don't need. And we should be good here. Um, so we can't actually do anything, I guess, with the music test yet because we need to, well, I mean, we can, I guess we can script the very basics of it. Um, so let's go ahead and say using unity engine.ui private void on music one clicked <laughs> private, oh, no, 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 not private, these are public, public button, I uh, will say music one button, duplicate this twice, two, three, mm -hmm. and you know what, we'll just say on music clicked, and then we'll actually, mm, I want to have it, yeah, we'll work with audio, um, so we'll say, eh, public audio clip, uh, music one, so we'll make these clips initially. Um, I would like my music systems to support both audio clips and sound IDs, which are just integers. Um, so I guess we'll go ahead and test this actually and say public um, int music uh, four, no, four is equal to zero. We'll make that a sound ID. And for now, we're just going to ignore that, but in the future, that's what we're going to do. So five and six. 
And it was until finals. Didn't go as well as we hoped. That's a shame. So did you go? Did you compete at the state level or state level then, or were you doing like a tri county um, competition or something like that? Let's go ahead and make this audio clip. Ah, clip. Here, private void start. We're just gonna say uh, music one button dot on click dot add listener delegate, mm -hmm. and then we're going to say on music clicked music one. Okay, I'll just duplicate this twice. Change these to two and three. All right, so that should set up our fields at the very least, um, so we can assign all that if we want. Um, but now we're going to have to set up the actual music manager. Uh, and the music manager, I think, is going to take a similar to, uh, approach to our sound manager, um, in that we will have a music source and a the actual music manager class. Um, and the music source is just going to contain extra information about what it's playing, what its settings are, um, things like that. Uh, mostly so that I can control how that stuff's going to be presented a little bit better. Um, in the actually, you know what? In the end, it might be better just to use the sound manager's sound source because um, they're kind of going to be the same thing, but not quite. You're going to have the same information, just uh, see, statewide. It was finals for the whole state. We went in second overall. We had the shot for the top, but we end up in fourth. Oof. Well, hey, that's, if it makes you feel any better, that is miles above wherever, wh where, whatever I was in high school or whatever my high school was. Um, we were definitely not that good. We were decent, but not that good. Uh, all right, so now what to call it? I don't want to call it new ma music manager, and I can't call it music manager because it's already in existence. Uh, hmm. I suppose I could call it music player. Mm, how about music system? Oh, I should have called it like phonograph or something. Something really stupid like that. Go ahead and open that up. All right. So this is where things are going to start getting kind of crazy. Um, first off, we're going to say using Unity Engine dot audio because I'm going to need access to the audio stuff. Um, so we're going to say public, uh, what is it, audio, no, 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 yeah, it's audio mixer group, yeah, so we'll say music group, as a tool tip, the mixer group to use for basically in case we want to apply any sort of effects to this. Um, and on top of that, do I really need anything else? Mm, not, not yet. Um, so let's go ahead and start laying out the bare bones of what we're going to want to do. Oh, and also I'm going to need to say um, using system.collections and using system.collections.generic. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have coroutines in here, so... Uh, let's go ahead and say private list. See, here's where it gets yeah, a little, little funky. Um, so I want to support both audio clips and sound IDs, which means that I need to have a similar structure to Sound Manager where I accept both of those things. But that also means that I need to have a similar script that will track all of that information. Um, so let's go ahead and open up Sound Source. So something similar to this class, and it could be that this is honestly enough, especially since I do want my music to use the sound class um, to pass its information. So some things about looping or uh, volume or pitch shifting, all that stuff. Because um, I might as well make use of that system for my music system since it already exists. Uh, let's see. And I think we can do that. It does mean, well, no, that should be fine, because sounds can loop. So, 
Yeah, that should work. All right, uh, let's go ahead and go back here to music system. So we're going to have a private not void, <laughs> list of sound sources. Um, and this will be, I don't call it sounds. I guess I would call it active music. And that doesn't sound great. Um, sources, I suppose, is equal to new, new list. Um, also underneath our music group, we're going to need to say public sound uh, source. Uh, we'll say source, no, we'll say music source. Music source prefab. All right. So, uh, da, 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 da. refresh that real quick. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna need to do a couple of things. First off, this is gonna be a singleton, so we're gonna want to say private music system instance. No brain like that. Static, of course. After that, we're going to say private static music system instance. Oh, you know what? By the way, Scorpio, um, been meaning to ask, well, not, not necessarily you specifically, but I am curious what your thoughts are, um, about things that I should do to try and get more eyes on this channel whenever I do my dev streams. I know in the past we've talked about Facebook, uh, I think Discord servers have been brought up, and that's all things that I've kind of been eyeballing. Um, but I'm not sure how many dev streams you watch, so I'm kind of curious to know what what other dev streams do that you've seen um, that might be useful or helpful, um, or just ideas in general. Because that's something that I'm currently evaluating to try and figure out how to, how to grow the channel. Instance intense because I can't spell there we go and we're gonna say if instance is equal to null uh, then we're going to go ahead and do first up instance is equal to find object of type music system if instance is equal to null instance is equal to new name object da, dot add component we're going to say music system. <laughs> and I guess we'll give it a name. Music system. And we'll give it no spaces and underscore. Uh, and then we'll say if instance dot parent. No, no, no sorry. Dot transform dot parent is equal to null. Say don't destroy on load instance dot game object. All right. The reason that I have this little check here for if the transform parent is null um, is because if it's not null and you try to set or er, and you try to call don't destroy on load, then Unity throws warning messages. It's kind of weird. Uh, all right. So that handles our static instance stuff. Um, next, we're going to need to say public static void play. And that's going to take an audio clip. I will say music. And we're also going to need float crossfade is equal to say 2f. That seems good. Uh, let's see. What else do we need to do? Um, <laughs> I suppose we'll actually want to do public static void play sound music float with a crossfade again is equal to 2f all right and let me see what sound all has in it because i always forget um we have the type we have the audio clip do we have a we have all that information um <laughs> So, okay, um, then I guess I'm going to have to eventually support all of the stuff that sound does in here. So we're going to need to know if we want to loop, um, as well as pitch shift volume and spatial blend. I think that's all we'll really need. Um, 
So we're going to go ahead and say float. Well, do I need to really support pitch? I don't think I do. Um, nor do I need to support spatial blend, really. Because um, pitch, I'm assuming, is going to be... Well, I say it should be one, but that's not actually a given. It, it might at some point need to be something else. Um, I do need to know if it's going to loop, though. So we'll go ahead and say bool loop is equal to... Uh, we'll say false by default. Um, let's see. <laughs> let's speed this up. Makes it easier to code, I suppose. Uh, volume. Yeah, I guess that could be useful. Float volume is equal to 1f. Um, spatial blend and mixer group, those are all going to be preset. So that's not an issue. And that might actually be it. That might be all I need to know. Um, I suppose I can expose pitch, but eh, doesn't seem particularly useful. Um, so we'll leave it alone for now. Uh, all right. So that all is basically kind of like digging into what the sound class offers already. Um, and we're also going to go ahead and say um, public static void play audio oh, not audio clip sorry int music id and we're going to do all of this stuff again so basically those two functions are the same um they're well kind of identical and actually you know what i don't need those either if i'm just passing the id then i can treat it like sound because that's what i'm going to be doing um so i can just say sound manager dot uh, find. Okay, not sound. Sound? Oh, right, it's because I got to do the global dot. Come on. Oh, right, 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 right. Hold on. Sound manager. Mm -hmm. Don't I have a find? Get sound count, get add collection. Get sound IDs, get sound names. Yeah, find. Where are you being used? Huh. Hello, Bo 20, 2015. Welcome to the world of tomorrow back. I come from the far, far year of 2002. Sorry, that's a really terrible joke callback to uh, Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law. Either way, welcome to the Death Stream, Bo. How are you tonight? All right. So, the real interest here is why... Do I really have to do public? Gross. Don't know why I did it that way, but I did. So, we'll go ahead and say soundmanager.instance.find. And then we'll just pass it music ID. And then we're just going to say play that followed by crossfade. I'm good. How are you? I am 50-50. Depends on how this stream goes, I suppose. <laughs> if I can manage to rehaul my music system in one day, I'll be very happy. <laughs> to be fair, actually, what we're trying to do shouldn't take too long. It's mostly just going to be experimenting with audio. Um, all right, so final bits of information. We're going to go ahead and have... Hmm. Well, thank you very much for subscribing, Bo. Not subscribing, following. I constantly get those two mixed up for following. I want to say subscribe, but that's YouTube. Either way, thank you. Well, this is definitely a text game, although I will say, or I, I will apologize, tonight is going to be a lot of audio, so you're probably not going to see a lot of text. But that's mostly because it's an audio night. Um, oh, and speaking of which, because I constantly forget to do this. Ah, ah, dang it. Oh, right. That's right, I forgot. We don't have an audio. We just, we'll have to call it coding. Ah, disappointment. Um, so... How'd you find us, Bo? I'm actually curious. I don't know how people randomly stumble across my stream, and I always like to figure out what how they how they manage to end up in this corner of the internet. 
All right, so we're going to go ahead and say private static void play. No, actually, you know what? No, it's not going to be static. It's just going to be regular. Um, play music. <laughs> um, I suppose it would actually just end up being all of this again, just without the preset values. All right. We're just going through the development community, do it all the time. Just like watching the streams. Well, that's as good a reason as any to stop by, I suppose. <laughs> Are you a developer yourself, or do you, well, I guess, just like walk, watching the streams? Pick the ones that look high quality or like their title game. Well, I'd like to think that I'm high quality, except I know that that's not true. Um, although I do try. Uh, I just constantly have existential crisis, or crises because I don't know how exactly to make the channel improve. So, if you watch a lot, you should tell me how to improve the stream. <laughs> uh, okay. So, with this, let's see, we have our private list of audio sources. That's all good. Um, is that pretty much all I had in the original music manager? Yes, 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 yes. Should be good. Supporting an arbitrary number of them that I'm going to have to have looped. All right. I think... I think I can get this to work then. So we're going to call instance.playmusic. We'll pass music here. We'll give it the crossfade. We'll give it the loop and then its volume. And we're pretty much going to do the same thing here, except it's going to say, we'll say play music, music dot clip, crossfade, music dot loop, and music dot volume. Cool. So that all should work. Yeah, I just got up to 29 AP with the pick a card, and now I have six. This hurts me. <laughs> yeah, I really wish that I could make my own mini games for those. Cause when when I saw that uh, I could do mini or I could allow mini games for you guys, I was super excited about making a bunch of small games. But nope, there's only a couple that I can I can throw up there. It's kind of disappointing. But you gotta get those sweet, sweet AP points. I can't say AP points because that makes the P redundant. APs, whatever. Also, I wonder. I wonder if I should have some sort of contest to allow people to guess what AP stands for. I think I can do that actually. I think I can do a poll. Hold on, I'm actually curious to try that. I'm gonna try that real quick. I've not done this yet. Um, Hmm. Oh right, I have to I have to list all of them. Hold on, I gotta come up with some uh some uh poll things. Let's see. <laughs> Oops. Then this is why I just figured out this is why people have moderators, <laughs> so that they don't have to stop the stream halfway through. Application points is a good guess. Oh, crap, the stream froze. Oh, okay, that was just temporary thing, I guess. Um, also, I'm trying to think of what else AP could stand for. Um, I feel like I should have five options for you just to make it hard. Um... All right, uh, let's see. I'm going to try that. I've not done that before, so I don't know if this is what's this going to do. But hopefully it'll be interesting either way. <laughs> All right, uh, getting back to business. So with this, also I have no idea how to actually check when my poll is done. Oh, I guess I can manually end the poll. Well, there you go. There's a poll to see what you get. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep the poll up for, I don't know, like five more minutes, I guess. And then we'll uh, we'll pull it down and see what people say. 
<laughs> uh, anyway, so for this, we're going to have to do a couple of things. Um, so we pass everything down to play music, and then we're going to go ahead and say uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, sound source source is equal to pool manager dot request sound source. We're going to pass it the um, music source prefab, and it doesn't really need to be put anywhere, so we'll just let that go ahead and go. And then after that, uh, we're going to need to set all the parameters on that. So we're going to want to say source dot play. And fortunately, I can pass all of that information in. So we're going to say sound. Ah, that does kind of suck, though, I just realized. Because sound sources don't, they don't have a... Um, spatial blend option. It's just probably going to default to 3D, but we'd actually want it to be 2D for music. So that's not great. That means we're going to have to add that to our sound sources. Um, but either way, I can at the very least go ahead and do this. So music, um, we'll have a crossfade, we'll have a loop, and then we'll have a volume. Uh, we'll have a pitch of 1, F, and then a music mix. Oops, what did I call it? Music group. There we go. Okay, so for the most part, that's pretty good. Um, hmm. So I feel like I probably should have... Huh, now that I think about it, I'm not even doing anything with spatialization here. That's kind of awkward. Probably should do that. Cached source dot um, spatial blend is equal to sound dot blend all right and let's go ahead and end the poll because why not let's see what people got <laughs> addiction points you are 100 percent correct too um they are called addiction points because when i first thought of the uh concept of it i um I couldn't think of anything else, and I realized that that's kind of what it was for, right? The entire point, or the entire point of the point system that Twitch has, is to get people addicted to the to the streams. So, why not? Figure I might as well just you know own it. Um. All right. So next thing we're gonna want to do here is let's add after pitch. Actually, after, let me make sure I'm using this correctly. Um, sound manager, play music, crossfade. So I'm going to have to add some stuff here. So we're going to say float spatial blend is equal to 0f, I believe, is what I want. So we're going to say cache source dot spatial blend is equal to spatial blend. I believe that's a float. Oh, nope, we want it to be 1 by default. Dang it, my stream keeps freezing? Really? Hmm. That's odd. Uh, let me see if I have a quality thing. I doubt I do. No. Hmm. Have you try, uh, Can you try refreshing the page real quick, Bo? Because I haven't noticed it freezing on me, but also I'm obviously not watching it um, all the time. I'm only glancing over occasionally. Uh... Also, when it freezes, does audio keep playing, or does it just kind of freeze up entirely? So I guess I should probably say, uh... I also don't know, yeah, if the audio freezes or not when I'm... or when the stream freezes. Huh. Interesting. Uh, tch, tch, tch. weird. I wouldn't think that it would be particularly intense. I sh I'm streaming 720p, um, so it shouldn't be... Huh. Okay. Um, 
I don't know what to do about that. Uh, I could, I could um, disconnect and then reconnect real quick, see if that fixes it. Um, All right, I'm going to restart the stream and see if that fixes it. <laughs> 